Capricorn, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Chandler and this is your intuitive energy reading. We are currently in a different location, right? As some of you uh, older subscribers may recognize. Okay, this is my original location actually. So um, I actually had to relocate because of my cleaning ladies. So we are here now and I hope you are doing well. If you're just tuning in, my name is Chandler, Chandler the Light. And we're gonna get into it, Capricorn. Today is a very special day, as I was just telling Taurus this morning. Taurus had an extremely twisted reading. You guys are not going to have that. Or are you? <laughs> For those of you who are subscribers, you guys know me. And that's that you can't expect a thing from me. It's always different here. I go with the flow. I am a shapeshifter. I am a chameleon. I just pick up on what energy I receive, baby, okay? Capricorn. We're going to talk about some astrology today. Okay, we do have a gateway open today. Now, this is a very special reading for you because we have a gateway open at 7-11 today. Too many, please. Too many, please. This 7-11 gateway is highly spiritual and it sets the tone for the next few months, if not for the rest of the year. Because, love it, because we just had a solar eclipse, the Sirius Gateway, there is communication happening in your life, Capricorn. Communication from your divine feminine. Communication from your divine masculine. I hesitated and I know I shouldn't ever, but I did get this information while I was shuffling. A divine union, okay, for real, for real. Perception, number eight, okay, this would make sense because the number eight is karmic. Now, this is not a karmic relationship as I'm sensing. This is actually the karma involved in a spiritual union. Time to reap or sow. Where are you at, Capricorn? The frequency of perception supports our natural curiosity, moving us beyond our comfort zone to find the edges of what we perceive as real and to take a good, hard, deep look at it. Hmm. Hmm. Transition number seven, movement forward. Forward. The frequency of transition supports our deep understanding of the ever changing nature of existence and our lives so that we can learn to let go, surrender to the process and allow transition to occur with ease and grace. You know where ease comes from? The mind. Do you know where grace comes from? The heart. Do you know what this means? This is quite literally the chariot energy. Number seven in the major arcana, the chariot moving forward, leaving the past behind. But are you over it? Are you over it? Have you thought about it? Have you believed about it? Have you loved yourself through it? Or are you just telling yourself the same story? Divine Feminine number three, something in creation much more foundationally strong than before. The frequency of Divine Feminine supports our receptive, nurturing, and soft side allowing it to express itself openly and helping us to connect to our intrinsic understanding of our connection to all of creation. 
What did that say um, about change? The ever-changing nature? Could we be talking about the divine feminine in transition? Could we be talking about the Cancerian solar eclipse? I think so. Communication happening, you guys. Probably in dreams. New beginnings. But slow, methodical movements. Not simply rushing ahead to get somewhere. This is a very delicate process as the div divine feminism is much like a flower. Am I not correct? If you try to break open a flower, you break it. If you try to harness a, a flower, possess a flower, you kill it. It's much better to let these things grow naturally. As even this is subject to change. Dependent on your perception. Dependent on how you feel and how you proceed. Cross watchers alike, please feel free to switch up and reverse the roles. The characteristics could be shared or independent of the signs that I see. So please keep that in mind. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> the crown chakra, right? Not here, here. This is uh, the most direct, I'm hearing authority, okay? <laughs> the authority governing the situation quite literally is the spirit, okay? Spirituality, understanding, and the mantra here is I know. So what do you know, Capricorn? What do you know? We also had emotional withdrawal come out. This is yet another, another number eight. Are you guys feeling all the feels because it's cancer season? Are you having memories of what's happened? Is it coming up? And if so, you have to ask yourself why. Something needs to change. A lot of you could be taking some isolation time. Now remember, isolation and solitude could very easily be taken too far. So don't allow this to, to go on for too long. Gain the right perception and then move forward. Mm. Ooh. Sacrifice another number three. What do we see here? Mm -hmm. Now listen, sacrifice in this deck is slightly different. This is This is the realization of something, okay? I'm going to read out of the book because this is a really good card to kind of fixate on, to kind of really hold tightly this week. Powerful achievements are usually born as a result of great sacrifice. This card represents self-sacrifice in a time when you should look around at your life to see what needs to be released. By surrendering and letting go, there will be more room to receive. The rewards for this are transformation, wisdom, gratitude, and enlightenment. This card signifies that there's a situation happening or about to occur in your life and you can't control the outcome. This would be a good moment to pause, rest, have patience, reflect, and meditate. It would be wise to stand back so you can learn to look at events with a more understanding, intuitive eye. Try to view people, issues, or problems from a different perspective. Guys, perception, I can't even pick that up off the table. If you can achieve this, it will have a profound effect on your soul and your life. The sacrifice card can also symbolize a period of transition or change. What? The solutions you seek may be slow in coming, for it could be necessary to live, to live into the answers. Accept the things that you can't control, heal and leave the past behind. Move toward your future and watch the new doors opening and paths that are being shown to you. 
So this is the archetype of the hanged man. You're going to have to wait for di divine uh, guidance on this one, okay? I was going to say divine grace. So whatever the situation is, there's a karmic tie. And you're being shown a better way to harmonize this. This is the Libran major arcana. Very airy energy. Okay, there's new levels for you to attain, but you've got to drop the baggage of the past, essentially. This is a master number. Masters don't get hold, held back by time. In fact, the time that they're saying is coming back up is non-existent because the only thing that does exist is now. What is happening now? What are you feeling now? What do you need to heal now? I'm hearing slamming doors. Not the doors actually slamming, but slamming doors to the past, slamming doors to the pain. You might have to get a little bit angry about this. You might have to put a little bit of a crazy face on, Caps. What'd I say? What'd I say? We have a spiritual union. I would act surprised, but I'm not. Remember, you're going to have to use your own perception to perceive what is real. Are you still questioning whether this is a real spiritual union, Cap? Are you still in the questioning process? That's interesting. I feel like there's a masculine out there for sure that is wondering about their divine feminine. Are they really my divine feminine? Did I just make all that up? Have I just been dreaming these things? Gosh, you want communication so bad. Just to validate, oh, just to validate your sanity. <sighs> Capricorn, here I am. Do you trust me? Ooh, Capricorn, that skepticism. That'll block you every time. But you're not being blocked anymore. You're hearing me loud and clear. You will be victorious and successful here, whatever that may mean. Remember, the divine feminine cannot be plucked. You cannot possess this. If this is not a physical reality kind of thing, it definitely is an emotional and subconscious reality. You understand what I'm saying? You may not have this tangibility, not for a long time. But I'm seeing Aladdin stick out his hand. Do you trust me? You gotta take flight. You gotta take flight, whoever I'm, whoever I'm connecting with. Whoa. This is a new partnership. This is your minds coming back together in love, in union. Not about the past. Things that are being healed now won't even be apparent to you when you meet this person. They won't even be a subject. They won't even be a topic of conversation. Upward and onward I'm hearing. Because Capricorn, you've put yourself through the most grueling mountainous climb And it's time to restore your sanity. It's time to restore yourself, your energy, your mindset. If your mind is a mountain, you are at the pinnacle. And what happens when you're at the pinnacle is there are no longer any obstructions. Only a 360 view of what has transpired. King of Cups, Mr. Romantic, coming up in reverse. Now you could be a cross watcher watching for a Capricorn and you yourself could be a water sign. This is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Emotional manipulation. I thought we weren't going there, Cap, but I guess we have to. I guess we have to. Please clarify the King of Cups. 
Cancer season, bringing up all the feels. I'm hearing that you're protecting yourself. I'm hearing that you have protected yourself, but in doing so, you've built a wall. This is what they're showing me. We can go at this all day. We may, we may be here for 50 minutes today because this is a slow moving cycle. This has taken you so long to just grasp and return to functionality in a healthy way. You were so insecure, anxiety ridden, codependent, that whatever this person did, I don't feel like it was, they didn't know, they didn't know what it would make you feel. They didn't know. They didn't know the extent to your love either. Please clarify the King of Cups. All right, two more times and I'm gonna have to pull. Please clarify. Ooh, okay, we got one, we got one. Seven of Wands. The defenses are dropping. This is a good card to have in, in reverse. In an upright position, this is thou shall not pass. <sighs> Angry. The defenses are dropping because you're healing. In Capricorn, it's a truly beautiful thing to be vulnerable. Your heart, it's been stuck in one place, hasn't it? No communication has made you doubt everything you feel. Not being able to trust your feelings too is a really big burden. We need to get you out of this place. We need to heal your heart so it can be open, so it can know what to do, so it can rest. I'm hearing rest in peace. How do you obtain ease? How do you obtain peace? How do you obtain grace? How do you become vulnerable? Getting your mind and your heart in the same place. Needing to move forward, Capricorn. Whatever that may mean. This is not about the other person. This is about you. This is about you. Because if you heal you, you heal the other person too. Isn't that sweet? Isn't that sweet? And you're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. Look at that, three of swords on the bottom of the deck. Maiden of pentacles, this is you. Look at your heart, sweetie. Look at your heart, sweetie. Oh, I feel it. Capricorn, it's okay to open it up now. You're healing. This is no longer your reality, remember? This is your past story that you've been telling yourself. That's all. The human mind is a funny thing. We constantly crave validation, don't we? Hi, Capricorn. So sorry, I had to plug in my computer. But as I was saying, there's been a disconnect. Okay, when we're looking at these two cards, we're looking at the healing that you're having to do. And I will seriously say someone has had to do an extensive amount of healing. This healing could be around a spiritual dynamic, but it could also be linked to a childhood trauma or a, fam a family sort of issue. Because I see a lot of youth and a potential father or a mother, okay? Or this can be cancer season. Six of swords, moving, moving. And this could have to do with work, okay? This can be only for a few of you, right? Not wanting to move, 
um, feeling isolated because of this, this transition in your past, making it hard for you to move forward, right? See how these are sort of reflections of one of the other? When we resist, what we're doing is not allowing, okay? We're not resisting change, we're not allowing change. That is the difference in perception. So change is good, but it's all about how you perceive it. Perception is pretty much everything, okay? So these karmic ties are coming back to cross-link each other. And, and however you see this, this spiritual union, this family dynamic, um, this home or uh, you know transitional energy about uprooting and moving is quite literally linked to your relationships as it stands. So this could be some pretty deep digging for some of you. But I feel as though um, the Six of Swords in reverse may be alluding to someone needing to move. Thinking about moving. Moving on. Wanting to move on from stormy seas to calmer waters. All right. Oh, we have a double confirmation, the Eight of Cups. This is my moving on card, quite literally, okay? So this has been emotional for some of you. Emotional withdraw. Moving on. Now this can be either symbolic, metaphoric, or actual physical relocation. But what I see are two eights. The double confirmation here. Eight of cups, eight of cups. Emotional withdraw. No longer giving energy to a situation that no longer serves you. It can be that simple cap. Okay? And what the crown chakra shows is that you already know this. So it's not a surprise for whoever I'm connecting with. Okay? So this can be very simple. I'm actually feeling such a lighthearted energy from sacrifice. Because as we discussed, what sacrifice actually means is leaving something behind or sacrificing something. Whether it be a pattern, a way of life, something habitual, um, something toxic. Uh, emotional satisfaction for the moment temporarily to gain ultimate perspective or to know the highest or best direction to proceed and actually by sacrificing this you are making your end goal, goal more holy okay so this is exactly what we're talking about knowing what to sacrifice right and for what is a big distinction that I think we need to make. Doesn't mean you have to leave a relationship to be single for your spiritual partner. Remember when I said in the beginning, this may not actually be physically possible for some of you. Actually, what I see more often than not are twins are not supposed to be together in the physical, actual marriage and partnership. But this is an emotional reciprocity that aligns you to and transforms the situation so that growth can happen. Remember, with perception, we need to be very aware of our expectations as well. So we have the lover's card on the deck. I'm excited to see what is going on with this person. Can we turn our attention, please, to Capricorn's love? Can we please turn our attention to Capricorn's love? Show me Capricorn's love's core energy. Show me Capricorn's love's core energy. Show me Capricorn's love's core energy. Like I, I thought that something flipped. Show me Capricorn's love's core energy. You guys, whoever I'm connecting with, this has been a long cycle. It's been long. And nobody's talking. Nobody's talking. You know why? It's because it's just, what can you say? What can you say? There's so much that's happened. The feelings are so deep. You know, when, de when feelings are so deep or so high, oftentimes there are no words. There just are no words, and that's okay. Some of you very well could be involved with the water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Mm, cap, 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 
<clears throat> Two of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What is their core energy? We have a double confirmation, a reflection, a union taking place in your minds, not in the physical. In your dreams, not in the physical. Okay? In your hearts. And it's okay to admit that you still love this person even after all of the things that have happened. Love prevails, my dear. Love is the key. They know you. They love you. You guys are intrinsically connected. Look at that sacred geometry behind them. Look at the intertwining. You couldn't separate that if you tried. And that's just the truth. You couldn't separate it if you tried. The reason that you're so exhausted, Cap, is because you've tried. Your partner is having to be strong as well. They could be involved with a Leo or they could be a Leo themselves. This could be a feminine, all right? But I see that you're both moving in the same direction. That was awkward. You're both moving in the same direction now, but we look and see the Seven of Cups. <laughs> okay, not by accident. There are no coincidences. And we have the Fool. Two major arcana. Aquarius. This person wants to move toward you and with you in a more positive direction, Capricorn. Now for whoever this is with, this is your lucky break and I think you know it. But someone is second guessing themselves into sabotage. Self-sabotage by not trusting and not believing what you know. The crown chakra is wide open and it says you know, but oftentimes when we get spiritual information, it's really difficult to apply it to the physical world because it's not what we see. They want to start something new with you and they've made their decision. You are the one. But with the fool, it seems that they're having to go through a different cycle now. One that may give them an idea of the suffering that you've experienced during this previous cycle. In fact, you two share karma. Okay. So I won't say that they will go through the extent of suffering that you have or that will, it will be as long or an identical cycle, but there's going to be some of that in there. They, I believe, are either leaving a relationship, unconsequential to your relationship actually being a steady or harmonious one. This is a different karmic thing that they're doing. This is a different sort of life path that they're entering. So if they are currently thinking of or debating on leaving a relationship, moving on, you're going to feel this. And the energy between you are going is it's going to be it's going to be quite clear. Whose energy is what? Capricorn this is the energy of a Scorpio. Now, what I see is that they're trying to work things out. The Eight of Pentacles is a long journey, and they know that if they put their effort in now, that things may be able to work out later. So they're allowing this situation that they're in to die, or maybe even this situation to die. Because this situation, as it stands, is foundationally unsturdy, insecure, right? And it's in the past, it's already dead. And so what they're doing is quite responsible, actually. And it's not to say, it's not to say that it's going to stay dead. <laughs> in fact, 
what I see more often with the death card is that this scorpionic energy will have you feeling all the feels and quite literally purging so that you can transform them and be happy and be lovely and potentially be in union again. This uh, water sign or your counterpart may feel like they're doing all the work by themselves. But we know that's not true, Capricorn. You've already done the work. <laughs> you've already done it. All you've got to do is release. All you've got to do is release. Figure out a different perception on this, right? King of Wands. Oh, yeah. Capricorn, that ambition, that fire within you, it's coming back. It's coming back. It's been a long and I'm hearing arduous cycle. But with the King of Wands, you're looking at financial increase, energetic increase, social status increase, um, higher ambition, higher goals, more stamina, inspiration, motivation. I really like this because it's exactly what you guys need right now. And you're looking at this energy of the new cycle significantly improving your home and family life. Once you've healed, it's almost as if this previous cycle won't even exist to you. Because the, what's new and in front of your face may just be that good. And I hope that for you, Cap. This has been a lovely reading for those of you who stay here. Thank you so much, and I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I would love to see you back for every Earth Sign Thursday. But for those of you who decide to follow me over to Vimeo, the link is in the description box, and we're going to go even more in depth toward this relationship and the outcome. Thank you so much, Cap. Bye-bye.